today says a mess i hope you are doing good to go for the glory to go for the praise it's another privilege on m for christ gospel messages how are you doing today says a mess i hope you're feeling excited as i am as well to give him glory to the most i go right i hope you're doing well i hope your loved ones are doing well i hope you, you, you it's good news all around you and i pray uh, that the good news of the lord will always be around us in the name of jesus christ god bless you just checking on you i hope you're doing well i hope your family are staying safe as well i hope everything is well with you i wish you a testimony in the even in the remainder of this month i wish you testimony that the lord will grant you testimony in the name of jesus christ god bless you thank you for tuning in again on am for christ gospel messages it's a great pleasure thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for being blessed by the grace of god even through am for christ gospel messages uh, God bless you in Jesus name. This is his perpetual movement. What places you is all I desire. What places you is all I desire. I hope you're ready to pray. But before we proceed, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for another privilege to ask from you. What places you of which it is definitely that indeed you will surely grant unto us that your name alone be glorified, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We give you all the praise for this opportunity opportunity again even for the breath of life we pray as we go into your word as we request for what places you yaking unto us give us the understand understanding of your word and the insight of this prayer points in jesus mighty name we pray amen god bless you says and god bless you mess uh thank you once again for tuning in to for christ god's messages and um this is still easter season this is still easter season by the grace of god we 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 want to take this by the grace of god this month actually to actually reflect more about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ we got to understand that yes our Lord Jesus Christ fulfilled his mission the purpose of which he came on earth of which God our Creator our Heavenly Father has also created each and every one of us which means God created you God created me individually God created each and every one of us for specific purpose for different assignments for great missions of which it is expected of us that we must accomplish those tasks, those missions, those assignments. Our Lord Jesus Christ's mission was for him to come on earth, giving that good example. Talking to his disciples, he says, you call me master, you call me teacher, you call me Lord. Yes, you've actually spoken well, but if I yet you call me master you call me teacher and i still do this to you i still serve you i still humble myself regardless of my title and my position which is evident to you calling me master calling me teacher if i could still do this to you you should also do the same to others jesus christ came to show us an example jesus christ gave us example how to pray when you want to pray say our father who art in heaven our lord be the name that kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven he taught us how to pray jesus christ showed us he made us to understand the importance of fasting and prayer if you this time this kind cannot go out except you fast and pray jesus christ for god so loved the world that he gave us only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life jesus christ's mission was to also come on earth that he might die for the forgiveness of our sins that our sins might be pardoned that we might be able to come back into a personal conversation relationship with the most high god like the, the previous time in the garden of eden coming to adam in the evening of the day and communicating like that but because of sin the separation was there and now jesus christ came to restore back that broken relationship and jesus christ successful despite the journey was tough jesus christ still demonstrated faithfulness to the fulfillment of that mission father the book of matthew that jesus christ was like ah, father if it were possible let this go pass over me 
but not as a will. The will be done. And eventually, as we're going to look now in the book of Luke, Luke chapter, Luke chapter 23, verse 34, even as we reflected on the message titled Importance of Forgiveness, despite this trouble, despite this pain, despite this shame, embarrassment, difficulties, challenges, problem that Jesus Christ encountered. It was blasphemed. It was spat. They, they spat on him. They mocked him and made jest of him for the sake of some other people, you and I, and all the creatures of God. Yes, he endured those things just to fulfill a mission that we might be saved. That we might be able to, that our relationship with the Most High God, the, the relationship of the Heavenly Father with His creatures might be restored back. That there is no need of sacrifices of animals, of gold, of bulls anymore, of doves. But the blood of Jesus Christ made the sacrifice for us that our sins might be pardoned. Jesus Christ, despite those difficulties, Jesus Christ still requested Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Hey, and that is actually our focus. That despite all this, Jesus Christ was still able to request for a prayer of forgiveness to those who mocked him, to those who wronged him. We're going to pray and tell the Lord. It, Jesus Christ fulfilled his mission and maintained his relationship with the Heavenly Father. Jesus Christ eventually successful and went back to the Heavenly Father. As believers, as Christians, as followers of Christ, disciples of Christ, we expected to be like our master. We expected to please the Heavenly Father till the end of life to the end of our existence on earth to the last breaths of which we're going to breathe on earth so that we might reign with our heavenly father we might complete the mission of our of of, of our creation so it takes it takes the, it takes the Lord Jesus Christ, it, it takes His grace, it takes His power, it takes His presence to live through us so that He might be reflected in us to others. That is deeper than that, but you'll get through the prayer. We're going to pray and ask the Lord, Lord Jesus, come and live your life through me. That, that is the purpose of all this explanation that yes, he was created. He made example. He, he, he became example to us. He showed us how to pray. He showed us how to, how to, how, how to serve others. The importance of humility, importance of prayer, import, importance of faith, importance of forgiveness even when they wrong you. Interceding for others. That yes, just for the sake of my relationship with my Heavenly Father, Daddy, please forgive them, for they do not know what to do. We're going to ask the Lord, Lord Jesus, please live your life to me. Come and live your life to me. Come and live your life to me. Christian, Christianity is about the reflection about Jesus Christ being the, the representative of Christ. Yes, Christ has come. Christ has fulfilled his mission. Christ went back to the Heavenly Father, but we are his representative. We are God's vessel that, yes, he could live through us to still be present in this current age, visible to the to, to the creatures of God, to all the creatures of God in this present age. We can ask the Lord Jesus, come and live your life through me. Ask the Lord, Lord Jesus, come and live your life to me. Oh, come and live your life to me. Prayer in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my Redeemer. Lord Jesus, I request that you will come and live your life to me. Come and live your life to me. Come and live your life to me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's yes, even at your departure, you are still visible to all your creatures on earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, come and live your life to me. In the name of Jesus, come and live your life to me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. We, we saw that, yes, Jesus Christ even, he, he said, yes, when I go, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to you. And, and when, when you are obedient, when you are doing, doing my obedience to my instructions, my word, uh, like the Father and I and the Holy Spirit, we're going to come and make our abode with you. We're going to ask the Lord, eternal God. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and make your abode with me. Come and come and make your abode with me. Come and dwell with me. Come and abide with me. Do you remember, you remember, you remember the days of Abraham and the, the Bible made us to understand and those three, three, three men came to Abraham and Abraham lifted up his head and, and saw those people and he said like, no, please, just just come and relax. Just come and stay. Don't pass me by. Come and stay. Let me just get some 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 refreshment for you and just and, and just get them before you continue on your journey and before you know it just because of that Abraham us hospitality realize eventually the mission of those three people that ah, we're going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and it was like ah, ah, Lord are you going to destroy the righteous even with the uh, unrighteous that you, you you you're not like that he pleaded, he, he pleaded. So the, 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 the point is like, yes, the Lord come and make his abode with us. That we want to have more relationship with him. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and dwell with me. Come and abide with me from this day forward. Help me to remain connected. Come and abide with me. Come and abide with me. Come and make your abode with me. Prayer in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and make your abode with me. Come and make your abode with me. Come and make your abode with me. Come and dwell with me me come and dwell in me come and abide with me in the name of Jesus Christ throughout the days of my life come and abide with us come and make a board with us in the name of Jesus Christ thank you blessed father because we've done it in Jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 in Jesus name finally we're gonna hax we're gonna hax oh Lord give me the grace to fulfill the the, the, the purpose that the, the to, to fulfill the mission of my creation give me the grace to fulfill your mission of my creation oh lord give me the grace to fulfill your mission of my creation prayer in jesus name father in the name of jesus christ my god and my savior my lord and my redeemer my god and my king i ask give me the grace to fulfill your mission of my creation in the name of jesus christ oh lord give me the grace to fulfill to accomplish your mission of my creation in the name of Jesus Christ please help me holy God that all glory and praise honor adoration be given to you all the days of my life forever and ever to eternity in Jesus even concerning this viewers concerning this one praying to you give us all the grace the grace the grace the grace even our loved ones our spouse our children and our generations our relatives our brethren oh Lord give us the grace to fulfill your mission of our creation in Jesus mighty name we pray amen God bless you it has been done and the Lord bless you in Jesus name uh, because this is his perfect will let's sing our song right and as usual just in case you're watching for the first time welcome to for Christ God's messages this is the platform of God's love of God's grace of God's presence to the glory of his holy name and I'm gonna sing this song just in case you're watching for the first time so you get familiar with it and the lyrics are gonna be down as well just follow along it's gonna sing it three times together and that's it to go over the globe but before we sing three times i'm gonna sing it once so you can get familiar with it amen that is all i want it's all i'm asking for what pleases you it's all my desire that's it that's it to go for the glory let's go one two ready go that is all i want it's all I'm asking for what pleases you. It's all my desire. That is all I want. It's all I'm asking for what pleases you. It's all my desire. And for the last time, that is all I want. 
It's all maxing for what pleases you. It's all my desire. God bless you, says, and God bless you, man. To the glory of the Most High God. To God be the glory forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Amazon for Christ God's messages. See you next time. To God be the glory. Look forward to our message coming this weekend. By the grace of God, by the grace of God. Still reflecting about the Lord, about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is very good. And God bless you. Take care right now and for Christ God's messages. See you. God bless.